Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it is the 27th day of November. Yeah, it's November, but it feels like December. As I make this, the temperature is 33 degrees with a wind chill factor of 27. And being that we're a couple of hours away from uh, dawn, uh, it looks like we'll fall a few more degrees before all is said and done. Tonight may actually be the coldest night. We'll talk about the cold and also look ahead to weather changes later in the week. Uh, it looks like we're going to get warmer and then a storm system, which could it be severe? Mm, don't know yet. Don't know. The jury is still out on whether we'll see severe weather with this system coming in. We'll look at the timing. Plus, the next 10 days, very interesting. We get into a warmer, wetter pattern before another temperature crash. Are you ready? Let's get started. Glad you're here this morning. Interesting map to show you this morning, showing you the corridor of cold from the 30s on the Gulf Coast to the 20s to the teens to the single digits to below zero to ridiculous below zero, 33 below uh, up there in Canada. I see uh, freezing temperatures covering most of the country this morning, except for Florida, uh, portions of Texas and the far west. And the cold continues to uh, infiltrate our area. In fact, we have a secondary surge, meaning tonight will be actually colder with a high today only around 49, sunny and cold. The wind's not as strong as yesterday, but northwest 6 to 12 will still add a bite. Tonight slowed down to about 28, and then this is first thing tomorrow morning. You can see the upper 20s into central Alabama, maybe mid-20s around the Lake Martin area, and even upper 20s around the Dothan area. A cold Wednesday morning before we start to moderate a little bit during the day Wednesday. We're not quite as cold tomorrow with a high maybe in the low to mid-50s, I think. And then Thursday we warm up. As we get a return flow and high temperatures reach the lower 60s, I think we're still dry Thursday. Then uh, here is the setup Friday night, and that looks impressive with low pressure near Kansas City and perhaps a severe weather setup. In, fa in fact, the Storm Prediction Center says severe weather is certainly a possibility from the Arklatex region all the way through much of North Mississippi. That's through 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Will we see any severe weather in Alabama? Well, the jury's still out. Here's Friday afternoon. I think we're dry, but maybe a chance of showers towards Friday late day and into the evening hours, and certainly showers and thunderstorms moving into the state on Friday night across the area. And it could get busy in the overnight hours. This is 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Certainly a potent uh, you know, area of showers and storms moving through ahead of that frontal system and moving on eastward. And I think by noon on Saturday, the front, makes it into southeast Alabama. Still some lingering showers and storms perhaps back behind it, but I think the chance of severe weather will be ending by then. And then on Sunday, some lingering showers. I think we get into a wet period of time, not just Sunday, but Monday as well, as a frontal system tries to move on to the southeast, and the chance of rain will continue on Tuesday as well. So we have a morning low tomorrow of 28, afternoon high of 54. We're still in the 30s on Thursday morning, but we warm into the 60s on Thursday and Friday. Maybe some showers and thunderstorms by Friday night into Saturday, especially the first half of the day Saturday before things quiet down a little bit. We may even be warmer than the upper 60s. We'll see. And then another big drop in temperatures by the middle of next week. You see that cold air dripping out of Canada, heading southward? So this is how the European uh, calls it. And this is a great little thumbnail cold for a couple of days and you see our big warm-up towards the weekend with showers and thunderstorms Friday night into Saturday that's the blue bars at the bottom a wet period Sunday through Tuesday then sharply colder uh, by the middle of next week you see how the temperatures just drop the bottom drops out as we get into the middle of next week yeah, so some interesting times ahead. Uh, if you don't have our weather app on your phone or tablet, uh, get it now because uh, it's going to keep you ahead of weather changes, including the possibility of those strong storms coming in by the weekend. Go to the App Store, search for Rich Thomas Weather. Live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Hey, Bailey. Did you see Bailey walk by there? Uh, and uh, we'll be also live talking weather with Ryan Stinnett at 5.50 this morning. That's going to be interesting. We have a lot to talk about on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Join us on TV. Another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45. And whenever you want your forecast, when you're out and about, you can hear it 256 times a day on the Blue Water family of stations. That's eight radio stations. Have a good day. I'll see you later.